Hey there, this is part 2 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. In this video, we'll get started with our basic installation, do some config work, and get our first test working. So, let's get started. So, guys, anytime I'm learning something new, I start off with reading the official documentation. I know documentation is most of the time boring, but I would still recommend you reading through it at least once. However, if you guys really hate it, don't worry, I'll be covering the majority of the key features for you. So, let's click on Docs and follow the Getting Started Guide. So, first off, scroll down. And we need to make sure that we have Node.js installed. In this case, they are saying the minimum version should be 12.16.1. And whenever you're watching this video, it might be different for you. But click on this, go to the Node.js website and download the latest version. In my case, I have Windows, so I can install this version or this version. And if you have Mac, it will show you uh, similar options. Let's head back to the documentation and take a look at our next step. The next thing we want to make sure is before we install any dependencies, we need to initialize our npm project. For that, we'll create a new project directory and cd into that. So I'm going to pull up the terminal. You can open up any terminal you have in your Mac or Windows. And then in that, I'm in my desktop automation bro directory. So let me copy this command. Oops, not this. Go back. And paste this. So all we are doing is we're creating a new directory called webdriver io dash test and then seeding into the directory. I hit enter and if you can see I am in that directory now. Let's get back and then follow the next step. Now we need to initialize our npm project. We'll do dash y so that it doesn't prompt us for lots of options. So okay, so we have our npm project initialized. Let's scroll down and follow the next step. So now we need to install WebDriver IO CLI. So this is the command, in, command line interface for WebDriver IO. So they recommend you to install this as it comes with its own test runner. It has some really nice useful features that just makes getting started really easy. So let's do that. So we need to do npm i dash dash save dev, save it in your dependencies and then do add wdio slash CLI. So I'll fast forward this and we'll be back once this is installed. Okay, so we are back. So our WebDriver IO CLI is installed. Now we'll follow the next steps. Next thing we need to do is generate our configuration file where we will be storing all our WebDriver IO settings. So that's really easy to do. We just copy this command and open our terminal, paste it here. So all we are doing is using the WDIO CLI, generating our config, doing dash y so that it doesn't ask us for a bunch of prompts. Enter. And now if you can see, it's going to install a bunch of packages. So it's installing the local test runner that I was talking about. It will install the mocha framework by default, it picks mocha. And then it will also install the spec reporter as well as Chrome driver so that you can run your test in Chrome driver and you don't have to install any driver additionally. Okay, so let's wait for this to be installed. So our packages are installed now. Let's take a look at what we need to do next. So next we have to make sure that we create our test file. To do that, if you're on Linux or Mac, just copy this command and paste it on your terminal. For Windows, however, you need to copy this command. Let's do that. So we're creating a test directory and underneath that we're creating another specs directory. So let me hit enter. Okay, so that's created. Now let's take a look at what we need to do next. Okay, so next we need to create our test file in the specs folder. To do that, if you're on Mac, simply copy this command and paste it on your terminal. However, if you're on Windows, touch command won't work. So what you need to do is simply go to the folder, which is test specs folder, and you can pull that up in any of your favorite code editor. In my case, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and I'm going to create a plain text file and name it basic.js. So I already have that pulled up here. So here's my test specs folder. I'm going to click on specs and create a new file. Okay, so our test file is created. Now let's take a look what we need to do next. So next we will be copying this example test code. So if you see there's two tabs here, sync mode and async mode. We will dive into the details of how these two works in our future videos. For now, simply copy this code and then head back to your code editor and paste this. And I'm going to save this here. Okay, so you might have noticed we did quite a bit of copy paste here. 
and guys that's totally normal when you're getting started all you need to make sure is first you get your environment up and running you get your basic configuration ready and then get your first test running that's the key focus how the test works what the syntax mean we will dive into all of that later on in the videos but for now the focus was just to make sure you get your first test working okay now that our file is saved let's try to run our test but to do that what you have to do is start the test runner and that's really easy to do so what you need to do is in your terminal either the one you had open before or a new one you can open it up if you're using visual studio code you can just go to terminal do new terminal and here just paste the command so what we are doing is using the wdio cli running our configuration file which will run our test runner so when you hit enter there you go so it's trying to open chrome driver and chrome just opened Okay, did you see that it opened chrome ran our test and it successfully passed see here so it says webdriver io page it should have the right title so it opened the webdriver io page it verified the title and ensured the title is right and it uh, confirmed that the test is passing okay so let's minimize this and try to figure out what happened here the first thing so in describe you have a collection of your test so what you do is you will first thing we will name what a collection is in this scenario since we are opening a webdriver io page they named it webdriver io page you can name it whatever you want and then we just create a function and within that function we have our id block id block is basically where your test will be running so this is the test that we're actually trying to run so it says it should have the right title so we're trying to verify our title here so what we are doing next is browser. So anytime you're running anything browser specific commands, we will do browser dot URL. What that means is open this URL, which is webdriver dash IO. So if you see in the Chrome driver, when it opened, this is the first URL it opened up. Next, we're using expect, which is our assertion library. Here we are trying to ensure what, once the test opened, what we are trying to verify here. In this scenario, we are verifying that it should have this title. So the title is basically this. So in this scenario, you must be thinking, how do we know what the title is? So that's easy. So if you, go, I'm gonna open Chrome. And if I go back to WebDriver IO homepage, do right click if you're on Chrome and do inspect. And here you're gonna see your DOM and do control F or command F if you're on Windows. And then just type title. So make sure you do it in the bracket. So I'm gonna do bracket title. So there you go. It says WebDriver IO next gen browser mobile automation test framework for Node.js. So if you cop, so basically you can just copy that and then go back, paste it here, and that's your title. So this is a good way to verify anytime you're opening a new page that it has the right title. You can also verify just the URL. So we'll take a look at how to do that later on in our videos. So I know this was a really simple example, but just under five minutes of setup, we got our first test working. That's why I really like WebDriver IO, and I know I've said this many times, but it's just so easy to get started. All right guys, so we have a lot more content to cover in our upcoming videos that I'm really excited about, and I hope you guys are excited too. If you are, do give me a thumbs up to let me know. Before we jump off to the next video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. That's it for this video guys, I'll see you in the next one.